Lowest ATAR, Guaranteed ATAR, Selection Rank. What do these terms mean and why do you need to know about them in years 11 and 12? They all tell you something about the year 12 students that were admitted to each uni course in the previous year. And you're given this information so that you can take it into consideration when choosing your course preferences in your application. For example, if you're interested in a course that has previously required a very high ATAR or selection rank, and you don't think you'll get an ATAR in that ballpark, then you'd be wise to include in your preferences a course that required an ATAR much closer to what you expect to receive. After you receive your ATAR in December, you'll have a couple of days to finalise your preferences for the first big offer round, so you'll have an even better idea of what you're likely to get into. Now, ATAR and Selection Rank. What's the difference? Your ATAR or Australian Tertiary Admission Rank is a number between 0 and 99.95, a rank which tells you about how you've gone in the HSC overall compared to other students. Think of it as your place in a race against other HSC students. Your selection rank is your ATAR plus any adjustments made by a university. We used to call these adjustments bonus points and they're used to increase your selection rank in recognition of, for example, your performance in HSC subjects, the location of your school, or your eligibility for educational access schemes. Selection rank adjustments don't change your ATAR. Instead, they change your selection rank for a particular course at a particular institution. Therefore, your selection rank can be different for each course you list in your course preferences. When you search for courses using the UAC website, you'll see that each course description has several standard features. One of these is the ATAR profile table. This table lists the lowest, median or middle and highest ATARs and selection ranks received by students admitted to courses in the previous year. While the required ATARs and selection ranks can change from year to year, this table gives you an idea of the ATAR and selection rank that you'll need to receive an offer to that course. The most useful numbers to look at are the lowest selection rank and median ATAR. These will give you an idea of what you'll need to be offered a place in a course. Some course descriptions indicate a guaranteed ATAR. This means that if you receive an ATAR equal to or above this guaranteed ATAR, you're guaranteed an offer to that course. Contact the institutions offering the courses that interest you for more information and get in touch with UAC for help with your application.